Hospitals University NHS Foundation Trust is one of the largest acute hospital trusts in England and looks after around three quarters of a million people every year in its five hospitals, numerous outpatient facilities and specialist centres. In 2010, the trust was named as the top performing hospital trust in England by the prestigious and highly influential Dr. Foster Good Hospital Guide. In addition, the Trust and its staff won many other healthcare excellence and leadership awards, achievements which reflect its continuing search for excellence in patient care. The Trust has over 7,000 staff and last year had an income approaching £500 million. You could help shape the future of the work being done by your top performing local hospital trust by becoming a member of the Foundation Trust. Although the name of the Trust is rather a mouthful, each word is there for a purpose. East Kent Hospitals covers the five hospitals in the large geographical area of East Kent covered by the Trust. University status was given by the University of London to recognise the outstanding teaching of medical students and junior doctors which is undertaken by staff working in our hospitals. NHS reminds us that our hospitals and services are all part of the wider National Health Service, while Foundation Trust recognises that in 2009 the government, through its organisation Monitor, recognised that the clinical and financial performance of the Trust reached the high standards necessary to allow us to operate in a new independent manner. An important part of this new way of working is that local people can become members and influence how we work. The William Harvey Hospital in Ashford is one of the larger hospitals in the Trust, operating a full accident and emergency department, and is the home of a number of specialised services, including the award-winning and revolutionary percutaneous coronary angioplasty service. We have five hospitals spread out over an area of some 740 square miles in East Kent. The Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother Hospital in Margate offers full A&E facilities, a coronary unit, keyhole surgery experts and a long tradition of caring for the community. Its new Viking Day Cancer Treatment Unit was built with the help of contributions from local people. The Kent and Canterbury Hospital in Canterbury has a walk-in 24-hour emergency care service and is also the home of a number of specialist services, including the pioneering Interventional Radiology and Vascular Unit, the first of its kind in the UK. The Trust headquarters are also sited at the Kent and Canterbury Hospital, which is geographically in the centre of the Trust. Buckland Hospital in Dover is one of two community hospitals in the Trust, offering numerous outpatient clinics, a renal dialysis unit and a minor injuries unit. The future of the hospital in Dover has been the topic of much debate over the past few years, and the current proposal is to build a new hospital on the Buckland site which will offer similar facilities to the current hospital. The Royal Victoria Hospital in Folkestone, which has recently undergone a £4 million redevelopment, is the second of the Trust's community hospitals, which offers numerous outpatient facilities including a walk-in centre and the specialised dairy unit, which looks after urology patients. Recently, a number of pioneering, award-winning and life-saving services have been developed in East Kent, which reflect the quality and diversity of those employed in the Trust. The Rapid Diagnosis and Treatment Stroke Teams, which in 2009 won the Health Service Journal Award for the best use of information technology in healthcare, is one such example. In April 2010, a specialist unit pioneering treatment for certain types of heart attack patients from all over Kent was opened, and has already won awards including the Best of Health Awards 2010 for its outstanding contribution to the healthcare of people. The Kent and Canterbury Hospital is the centre of the pioneering and first of its kind in the UK Interventional Radiology and Vascular Unit, where as well as its state-of-the-art treatment for the people of Kent, research into high blood pressure is being undertaken. Other research undertaken at the KNC involves the renal team who coordinate the entire Kent Renal Dialysis Service for Kent from this hospital. At QEQM, another use of the tummy button has been found. Mr. George Savellis, a general surgeon, has started to remove the gallbladder through a tiny incision in the navel. This means that procedures which until recently required long stays in hospital can now be carried out as day cases.
We've all heard about dangerous hospital-acquired infections, such as MRSA, or methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, and C. diff, or Clostridium difficile. However, you'll be reassured to know that the Trust has one of the lowest infection rates in the country, and in recognition of this, the Trust's Infection Prevention and Control Team of Nurses were finalists in the Nursing Times Awards in October 2010. In addition to the paid employees of the Trust, there are many individuals and groups who work on a voluntary basis in our hospitals. Last year, the total contributions to our hospital from League of Friends groups and other charitable organizations came to around half a million pounds. The Trust is managed by its senior management team, the Board of Directors. The board consists of senior trust employees such as the chief executive, medical director, finance director and director of nursing, as well as a number of non-executive directors. The overall performance of the trust is monitored and influenced by the trust's council of governors. This council consists of 22 members of the public and staff who have been elected to represent their constituencies and 10 governors nominated by organizations who work closely within the trust. The Council of Governors is charged with holding the Board of Directors collectively responsible for the performance of the Foundation Trust and represents the interests of NHS Foundation Trust members and partner organizations in the local health economy and in the governance of the NHS Trust. If you would like to help, then it's easy to become a member. Just sign one form and that's it. Governors and Trust staff will be happy to advise and help you. As a member, you'll be able to elect representatives onto the Council of Governors and so give your views on the Trust's activities. You can help the Trust develop its services and will receive invitations to health roadshows and other events. You will receive a regular newsletter. You will also enjoy great discounts and savings as part of the NHSdiscounts.com scheme. It's easy to become a member.